like no no bro. That, that's like it. The like, only the only I will say the two that I know of that play Duck Hunt in the Midwest, the whole Midwest, I know Chevy and I know Ozzy. That's it. That's all we have to practice. We have Chevy in Chicago, but he doesn't come to uh, a crazy amount of tournaments. The other one being Ozone, uh, I believe a Michigan player. Uh, please don't crucify me if I'm wrong. That was uh, what I know him to be. But so here we go. Here we go on this. You're absolutely right. I definitely agree with you. In the meantime, we've got Seabass once again facing his nemesis, but not wearing green. The other JT. The other JT, right? <laughs> facing JT Wild and then facing JT Dunstow. Both Mario players. You are Both very different styles of Mario, actually. Uh, we have JT Wild, the more combo heavy Mario. JT Dunst, the more kind of unpredictable wild card type Mario. He's using downer like, as a like, and, and up smash. Yeah. Like, but it, but it, he will use up smash and then confirm it into another move. Like, like everything that JT Dunst does, was saying earlier, is, is like a mix up. It, it's just like, like, he's, he's like. <laughs> If it hits you the first time, it's, he's gonna do it again. But if you air dodge, he's got the punish ready. Like, you air right. dodge all four times. You know, like, definitely a wild card. Like, oh, big body getting hit by that fireball, unfortunately. He not oh, but, uh, man, again, Seabass just trying to challenge things. Oh, man, and probably use side B, too. Probably use side B. See, that's exactly what you use. Yeah, like, oh, it's out. That's, that's like, it's like in Pokemon when you, when you use a grab, you get hit by an attack. Critical hit! Like, that's right. it, man. Seabass just has to find a way to get in there and be patient. I think that's what Seabass really needs to do is just be a little bit more patient. Seabass wins when he starts playing his game. When he starts just kind of standing in one spot, kind of uh, walking back and forth and just trying to, like, exactly like he is now. Like, he's facing the wrong way, practically. Just letting these fireballs. Seabass is actually the oh king of perfect god. shielding. Like, oh my god. He showed it versus SBF and now against JT Dunks. Yeah, I saw that earlier with SBF too. I, it's just, it's a beautiful sound. The, the, the sound of the the this offensive shooting. Right. So a downer gonna take that stock. We are 1-1, one, 60% one, on Seabass, but that is not a lot against when you're a Bowser. It takes a little bit more than 84% to die as Bowser. Mm -hmm. I like I'd like to see uh, a little more like see see that's definitely doing a, a lot of a lot of shielding and stuff like that. Uh the JT likes JC dunks rather likes to go a lot of good boxes out. A lot of good boxes out. And you know what that was. You got hit by the fire, you can no longer snap ledge. Okay, so prepare to face up. my wrath! Seabass <laughs> taking full clear advantage of that, hitting that clean up smash, bringing it into game two here, one game ahead. Probably explaining it to him now. I knew what you were going to do. X, Y, Z. Your JT Dunks. Yes. What stage you on? JT Dunks. Oh, battlefield. Oh, God, battlefield. B. Oh, my goodness. He loves it. He loves it so much. And uh, it, within reason, like Mario is very nice. Like, like Mario and Falcon, I will never take them to the battlefield. I'll always ban it. Even if even if like Dreamland is open, <laughs> you know? <laughs> but JT Unks, he, um, he doesn't do the same kind of things as like Super and stuff like that real like zero to that view. But he does like the confirms that lead into the platform combos. Right. They're just different combos. I've said it before and I'll say it again, I'll stand by this. JT Dunks is to Mario as Joe Barrows is to Diddy Kong. Yes. Very unconventional play, but I mean, it works. You can't argue that. The results that Joe Barrows had today, he's doing very well for himself today. And JT Dunks is doing very well here. You can't argue with the results that they have doing unconventional things with those characters. Yup, you are absolutely right. I love that. That was a really good, really good analogy. As for that, now, Seabass put in a very poor position because, because coming down with that side B, JT Dunks is not having it. You're landing with a, a what? You need a move that I can challenge? <laughs> <laughs> when those fireball dots off, I just imagine them killing the opponent like they melee. <laughs> They're just straight. They, just, they don't go anywhere. <laughs> Re grabs come out and ooh, not enough uh, percent on Seabass to put him above that platform to extend the combo. But again, these crisp noises coming out in this game. Yes, Seabass again knowing I'm Bowser. I have no reason to approach you. No reason to approach Mario at all. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go in, wait for you to react, and punish him. That's that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, oh my, my gosh! Goodness. I'm gonna come in, wait for you to react, and then I'm gonna get fight. That's that's what that's what just happened here. Good two stock coming in from JT Dunks. 
What? It was the same way that JT Dunks did it. Down tilt. Or JT Wild, I mean, down tilt. So that's the second time I've seen down tilt confirm into, into, uh, into forward air. Like, ever. It's the second time I've seen it. And it's in the same tournament. Oh, getting grabbed first. Not something I expected to see. And JT Dunks loves fireballs. Like, that's another thing I see. Like, like, not a lot of Mario's like will like, fireball willingly and, a, and, a, and purposefully, but he will do it. He will do it all the time. I don't care how many times he has to do it. It was very good, Seabass. If you notice, he has to stop landing the side beam. As much of a like, strong start as JT, as, uh, I'm sorry, JT Dunks had, he's now behind in percent. It's the power of Bowser to land three grabs and a couple hits, and all of a sudden you're a kill percent. Absolutely. Seabass feeling a little more comfortable again. Oh my gosh, good challenge, must have known. No oh my gosh, better challenge, take the stock. 27% on him. I don't need the range, I'm okay with it. <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just keep my, oh my gosh. I very much like that DI from Seabass there, DIing towards the stage to prevent any sort of fair nonsense from happening. Yeah, all the, all the little shenanigans. Like forcing the combo to be kept in. Very well playing this part. And now, he just do whatever he can to keep the stock. He's not taking a lot of damage. He's doing a pretty good job of, of running the stock back right now. Oh my god, careful play here, careful play. And there, gets a lot of damage. There in the up air. Covering oh. those landings so well with a forward tilt that time. Oh, jab one to the confirm. I love that confirm so much. I love that confirm. Because it doesn't pull you in like Donkey Kong or, or DDD second, uh, second hit jab. Right. Oh, what? Okay. Tell me that was not the coolest thing ever. Brought him he back grabbed him, dragged him off stage, and put him back. Yeah, no, that. that Seabass, excuse me. <laughs> Just like last time with JC Wild. Hey, Battlefield, that's your stage. Let me take you to a neutral stage. <laughs> and then two times. Ending it with the up tilt there. So now we're going into game three here. One apiece. A decisive win for JT Dunks in the first one, and then a bit of a decisive win there for Seabass in the second game. Now we're in game, now we're sitting in game four with Seabass stirring up two games. If he wins this next one, he's moving his way back up closer and closer to Grant. Oh my gosh! Like, I, I know that works, and I know why that works, but wow! <laughs> I threw out a move, but I power shielded it. Like, it's gotta be played one landing. <laughs> so the question I have here is, what did Seabass ban? Because JT Dunks is already one on Battlefield. He didn't need to ban that because of DSR. Right. That's a good question. So what maybe did he ban to maybe, but, but maybe it's a Hawaii though? Right, right, right. So maybe they just forgot that DSR was a thing and he banned Battlefield? We'll never know. I mean, right? I mean, it's, it's, he's doing okay right now. There's, he's there's doing more than okay. There's something different about this stage that's happening right now. Only that or Seabass has truly learned. Oh, oh. Man, we want to see the, we want to see like those up air following combos falling onto the platform so we can just carry it up and matter like nobody's business. But yeah, it's working. He's, he's not suffering right now. I swear, Seabass has spent 70% of all of his sets in shield. Yeah. Like, this man just sits in shield, says, I'll eat it, I'll take it. And he's, it's just never been broke. Look at this. He's, he just shields, and then fares, and then rolls, and yep. then fares. <laughs> yep. Oh, uh, I saw it. I caught it. So, um, I'm, it must be that down. Oh, my gosh. Woo! Another thing that I know is that it works and why it works. But seeing it, crazy. Crazy! This crazy. might be it crazy. off the platform. Crazy, 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 crazy. Seabass taking that two stock back to the back with that. Holy cow. 70% of this game in shield and proving that it's still a good option. And and, and that's what I was I wanted to see more of, like, is it in shield? Because she just those out so many hitboxes right in the air. Aerial, 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 aerial. Shield, shield, shield. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, it's just uh, the perfect counterplay. You just hold R. Right, right. Or whatever Seabass has it set to. I don't know. He might like X and shield. I don't know. I mean, I, pr I set shield to L when I realized that 